Okay, another thing I'd like to discuss, which again seems to be uh, causing some trouble, is how to bleed the hydraulic bearing or purging the air from the system. So, as we've all probably heard and read, whenever you have an air bubble in the line or anywhere in the bearing, um, causes the clutch not to work correctly, you get a weird pedal feel, something like that. So, most modern setups have an extra bleeder port. And it's easy to cycle fluid through, and you can get most of the air out that way. Uh, some, like on the Mustangs and the Dodge applications, only have a single inlet. And these are a little tricky to do. Um, everybody has uh, heard the urban legend of just pumping the pedal 1.7 billion times, and it works the bubble out. And the problem with that is the bubble really can't go anywhere. So once it's trapped in there, it's trapped in there. And when these were first conceived, is these are built as an assembled piece, meaning you get the bearing, the line, everything's connected, and it's filled with fluid, so there's no bubble. Well, when you change these, you have to purge that air from the system, or it's never going to work correctly. So, uh, back to our first one, these are pretty easy. You crack the bleeder, you cycle the fluid through, it's pretty easy. It's always a good idea once you've cycled some fluid through, you have everything buttoned up, it's a good idea to physically depress the bearing, as far as it'll go, let it come back and push it down. And what that'll do is that'll actually cycle fluid back through the system. And if there is, uh, if there's any air trapped anywhere, it's going to go ahead and push that up towards the reservoir and it'll bleed to atmosphere. And that way you're sure you've got everything out of there. There is a little trick to doing these, uh, which I've kind of come up with. And it's, it's as simple as you just have to make uh, or use a little scrap piece of hose, make sure it kind of fits nice over the fitting and then you take a small container and you fill it with fluid I didn't fill this one with fluid because I would guarantee you I would dump it all over myself and we'd have to shoot the video from the beginning and I'm not really in that mood today so what you'll do is you'll put your hose over the connection and you're gonna have this into the hose submerged in fluid everybody see my invisible fluid great goes to Bob Ross is happy now all you're gonna do is you're gonna stroke the bearing like this several times and what you'll see is it'll actually push the air out of the bearing and it's going to draw fluid back into itself. This makes life much much easier if you do this a couple times on the bench. Purge all the air out of the system. Do that like I say I don't know five six maybe ten times depending and then you can disconnect your line and when you assemble it into the car you're only going to have a little bubble between the incoming line and, where you're, and you can actually bleed that right there too. So that should help quite a bit. Hopefully it'll make everybody's life a little easier.